today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've uh, knocked up a feeder mix. Today it's just a uh, turbo feeder or feeder turbo, whichever way you want to call it. Uh, it's quite a fine mix. Uh, once it's mixed up, it kind of looks a bit like that. There are a couple of medium sized particles in there, but on the whole, it's quite a, a fine mix. I'm just going to add some maggots to it and then put the feeder in the uh, in the vase and then see what happens. Obviously, I'm not going to put that many maggots in it because it's only a small feeder, but uh, just bung some in there and see what happens. I use turbo feeder quite a lot for uh, some of my base mixes when I'm feeder fishing. Um, you can mix it quite light. I mean, this is like slightly damp. It's not really dry, but quite damp. You can mix it a bit heavier just by adding a bit more water to it. Or um, mix it quite sloppy as well if you want. Well, you can mix it really quite stiff if you're fishing on rivers and that kind of thing. <clears throat> but um, yeah, on the whole, it's... Uh, pretty good base mix for all feeder fishing. I mean, I've used this with uh, feeder bream or feeder gold. Some of the other um, we've got in the feeder range. Brilliant. I can't fault it. I've caught loads of fish on it already. I mean, it has been out for quite a few years now. So, but, uh, Yeah, I like using this one as a, as a base mix. I'll just use it with uh, brown crumb which is also obviously a pretty good uh, additive or whatever you want to call it towards uh, feeder fishing can't beat a bit of brown crumb I mean, there are some active particles in there that are floating I, mean, I mixed it up about an hour and a half ago left it for like half an hour riddled it off wet it again then about 20 minutes ago I wet it one more time just to Make sure I've got the consistency that I want. And that's how it's ended up. Whereas if you wanted it a bit drier, it would be a bit more active, but the maggots are escaping. Yeah, um, like I said, it's a pretty universal mix. You can catch pretty much anything on it. You can use it pretty much anywhere as well. I mean, rivers, canals, lakes, whatever brilliant uh, mix I mean you could use it with feeder roach I haven't got any feeder roach because I don't really do that much roach fishing but so I mean you, all the feeder range you can just mix together or if you wanted to just mix some gold pro in with it and use it for fear for, for bream and skimmers or use some of the other new mixes like the uh, skimmer mix or the uh, the bremo mix combinations are pretty much endless really there's that many of them yeah, I think that's pretty much all come out now there's still one or two little bits uh, rising to the surface interesting to see though the maggots are quite well they're really all the maggots are out of the feeder they haven't really gone that far though, they just seem to lay there dormant and they don't seem to move very far. That's a bit strange. Yeah, well, if you've got any other questions or any other products you want me to uh, show you, just pop a comment below and I'll get around to it as soon as I can. Cheers.